Welcome to Cal City Space Student Research Symposium 2021. My name is Sandra Torres and my majors are Computer Science and Mathematics. My research project is Fractal Geometry of the Stretch Level and Sierpinski Gasket. My faculty mentor is Dr. Andrea Risa Rivera and my research partner is Adam Linkford. What are fractals? Fractals are sets of shapes with the same pattern appearing at multiple scales. The current shape is known as the Sierpinski Gasket or we'll call it for SJ. In our example, we see a triangle with three internal triangles. When we focus on one triangle and we look at a closer scale, we see the same pattern repeating with three internal triangles again. There are two current versions of the Sierpinski Gasket. We have a regular version where the corners of internal triangles meet, and we have a stretched version where the intersections of the internal triangles are stretched into lines. The Iterative Function System, IFS for short, is a finite collection of contraction maps. Contraction maps are functions that shrink a compact set by at least a certain ratio from 0 to 1. We will be using this formula to help determine the pattern repeating for the Sierpinski Gasket. The IFS for the Sierpinski Gasket. We determine the fixed points for the fractal shape will be the corners of the triangle and form the IFS. So we would focus on the fixed points of P1, P2, and P3. We use those to later define the functions for our IFS in the regular Sierpinski Gasket. The level N of the Sierpinski Gasket. We can modify the SJ by including more floors within the triangles. This generates fractals called the level N Sierpinski Gasket. As we see in the examples, level 2, we have two floors and three internal triangles have been generated. With level three, we have three floors and six internal triangles are generated. That would mean we will have to find six functions for our IFS in the level three. The IFS for a level three stretch to Pisky gasket. As mentioned before, the intersection between the internal triangles are stretched into line segments. So we will assign that length as alpha. We currently found six functions for our IFS. So what we look forward to are the stretch points 0.7 to 0.15. What else to look forward to? Python with Math Labs. When determining the functions for the iterative function system, we will write those functions into Python to confirm our findings. That concludes our presentation. Thank you for attending Cal City Space Student Research Symposium 2021. I would like to give thanks to the Center of Student Research for this opportunity.